Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Huan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raid 1 Specialist account. Every 75 raids I can go for one of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 soul raids. Please enjoy the series. Alright, uh, a level actually noticed I was gonna get 86 stamina mix, mm, that content, but it's always nice because eventually I will want to get 90 herbler for them super combats and overloads, of course. Okay, so I no longer have to AFK Fletch because I don't need any more fletching levels. So I'm gonna go back to my woodcutting goal of 99. And uh, yes, I totally forgot about the red wood tree I planted quite a while ago. So it's time for me to actually make use of it. I'm just gonna be AFKing redwoods here just cause I wanna bank these so this is the best way to bank. Nice and quick. Yes, I don't get the invisible boost that the woodcutting guild provides but I don't really care. This is just, you know, more relaxing and more FK, you know, especially with banking in mind, so. Technically, I could lure all the way over here, I'm pretty sure. Nice. The chance of that the skeleton over there is going to see me is very low, to be honest. If you do both, then Bandos become- Holy shit, I just got 97. Oh, come on, man. Oh, it's right there. But I did get 97 magic, which is really good. <laughs> That's gonna help a lot, you know, extra damage for Trident. Also for the freaking Inferno, because sometimes, you know, you get a double bat wave and they just lower your magic so goddamn low. And you just don't want to waste a restore because you're like high prayer. So, you know, it'll help me out a teeny bit in those weird situations. It's finally time to start the prayer training once again. It's been a bit. But this time I have much better gear. So the Thin's Bulwark is just a big upgrade from the crystal shield 200 melee stats 68 magic so it's a nice balance against p cares with multiple styles and uh yeah uh from experience i should be able to clean out my inventory before the b care kills me most of the time so yeah this is gonna be really nice so these are the current bones that i have right now in my bank mostly accumulated when i was killing vorkath or inferno and um, through Kavi Source, I was able to figure out that I have approximately 1.2 my experience, which will get me all the way to 84 prayer, and that's really nice. 84 prayer is a great stopping point. 400k an hour, man, that's amazing. You can get so much more rates, you know, if you actually do this attentively the whole time, but yeah, 400k is dope for me. This is why I uh, prefer to have the Din's Bulwark, you know, because that way I can just, you know, have an easy time. Alright, 82 prayer. I think it should be 120 combat. Huh, might be 120 after these levels. Oh my god, superior dragon bones is- Oh! Jesus. Oh, baby. What is this? XP- 1 million XP an hour! Okay, that's insane. Man, imagine actually being able to do this for an hour straight, you guys. Hey, 83 prayer. Let's get it. <laughs> One more to go. 84 prayer. Wow, that was so freaking fast, dude. So this is going to be a super nice stopping point because the 84 prayer, I do get an extra prayer point from either restores or prayer potions. So in the Inferno setup I got going on, I have I think 9 restores and each restore is 4 doses, right? So I have 36 doses. Because of 84 prayer, I will now have an extra 36 prayer points to bring with me to the Inferno. And I gained about 900k prayer experience throughout this grind. Hmm, let's see, where is the Torsto? Why are they not in order? Jagex, why do you not sort your stuff in order? Day 4 This time I am using the rune darts that I've gathered from Forecast. We're gonna take it extra serious. Oh, god dang it. <gasps> what? Wait, what hit me for 41? 
So I was trying to gun for the melee guy as soon as I can because he usually is the most problematic during these high level waves. However, in this situation, it would have been better if I just took my time because at worst, I would have only had to prayer flick melee and ranger at the same time, which isn't too bad. But because I rushed, I went in there trying to off take the ranger and the major while killing the melee guy and I lost focus for a split second. I misflicked the major once and I misflicked the ranger once. And that's where the 41 that came to finish me off. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Wow. Dude, oh, I can't believe this. Nibblers, bro. Come on. Dang it, man. Oof. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Dang it. Ah, that's so unlucky, dude. Ah, oh, man. I should have gone to the major side. Fuck. That's what I should have done when I had it over there. What the f man, that lag. Oh my god. Alright, here we go again. Back to where we started. Let's do this. No, I'm dead. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh no. I panicked there at the end. God damn it. 328 AM. Making sure I got everything here. I do, I'm pretty damn sure. Yeah, let's go and do this. Last attempt of the night. It's time. Man, I could have definitely killed the healers by then. Great. Should have pushed.
Yes. This cape is mine. Do it, do it. Yes. Let's get it. Let's get it. Woo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, that was so fucking hard. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. It's done. Oh. All that planning, dude, it worked out, you know, all that vorecap, all that fletching, dude. All led up to this moment, dude. Woo! Holy shit, let's put this on, guys. Oh my god! Oh man, that looks so good. Oh my god. Two hours and 17 minutes, oh my god. <laughs> Woo! That is amazing. I'm fucking sweating. I already took a shower. Okay. It's gonna be nice though once I get super combats. Then I'm able to uh, get another switch in the setup. I'll take the take it. All right, boys. First raid with the Inferno Cape. It's pretty good. I got a Tecton start, so uh, the Inferno Cape is gonna be nice for that. Just for the extra max hit and uh, a bit more accuracy, you know. Basically one extra damage. So that's really nice. I was 116 prior, so. I guess it's good for vanguards, especially Ulm. Yeah, good for vanguards, Ulm. There we go. Oh, I can hit a 45 now. Nice. I think that's my new max with the, uh, with the Inferno Kip that's... From 44 that I used to do. Can this guy see me? Oh, he can't. Yes, that's such a good layout, actually. That works. That also stops him, too. I haven't lowered it, lowered this guy correctly yet, but it's fine. I'll take care of him after. Oh, purple! Oh, yes! First purple, boys! Since the Caperino. Let's go. That's awesome, dude. Wait, Dins? I didn't keep. I didn't even keep track of this. Holy shit! All right, it's been a while. Okay, not really sure how dry I am. I'll I'll tell you after I open this up. Here we go, boys. Oh, someone said Dins bulwark, dude. Like thirty minutes beforehand, you know. You're so right. Oh my god, how can this guy be so right, dude? A third Dins bulwark. Okay. Damn, man. They are just as rare as an ancestral piece. I would totally exchange three of these for an ancestral bottom or something, dude. Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh my god, one HP! Yikes, man, that's really unlucky. I just take eight that. All right, so I need money, uh, mainly money, just so I can buy some death runes. You know, <laughs> I got like no death runes left. Uh, freaking Inferno just destroyed it. So uh, at least for me, I do have a lot of Alks that I can and will convert into GP. It's time to mass liquidate 11 mil. I think that's very sizable here. So yeah, let's get started. Run some laps and get this done. 400 raise KC though, man. That's actually pretty dope. Oh, a 70. There we go. Oh. That's gonna ruin it. Alright, this one's from some AFK Redwood Trees. Oh, Bandos Bracers. A Rune H Helm, too. Dang, I got the Rune H Helm already. Oh, uh, Bandos Bracers, huh? I guess I can use it for when I'm going for ecumenical keys, maybe. Nice. That was a really fast rate. 24 minutes. Oh shit, Sunny and Jody? Hell yeah. Alright, I got two more Jody levels to milk at the uh, Sears course before the mark penalty starts hitting me. Medium clue. Oh, the hit band finally! Yes! Okay, that's awesome. Okay. I saw this junk, but I, I saw the headband. That's awesome, dude. 
I can actually do that shitty uh, hard clue. What the hell kind of party is this? Is this a skilling party? Wow, that's insane, dude. Oh my god. Why are you attacking me, dude? I just want to witness, you know, this amazing fiesta over here. Uh, my scales are looking terrible. Okay, this is the last of my scales. Put it on my blowpipe. I'm out of scales. But, fortunately for me, I got a ton of uh, secondaries, um, drops that I can dismantle. So I'm going to start working on dismantling these one at a time. Oh no! Oh, my prayer. Ah, uh, sucks. Oh wow, it's all the way back here. God damn it, man. I hate that when the portal's literally under you the whole time. Alright, guys. We are officially done with the Inferno. I don't think I'll be going back, except maybe potentially for some Slayer training in the future if I get a task. But not anytime soon. Anyways, on the last video, I got uh, falsely copyright claimed, um, and yeah, that shit was scary, but uh, fortunately, I was able to resolve it uh, by emailing the uh, people that were indirectly responsible. Turned out YouTube, you know, detection system was being dookie once again, but we all good on that now. Anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy the Inferno journey on Huaman Raid. If you want to see the complete journey to getting the Inferno Cave from the initial planning to completing some of the mini goals for it, check out the past few episodes or maybe the playlist. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video with the next upgrade uh, progress. And some more raids. Take care and bye bye.